All right, let's do this. We have a full permission to explore. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the salon. This is beautiful. Gorgeous. What kind of wood is this? It's um, walnut. No. <laughs> it's oak. Even the floor no, is it's, oak. It's, it's all oak. Behind you, it's all oak. Where do we start? I don't know. It's such a cool, it's <sighs> such just a cool song. Overwhelmingly amazing. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be here for a second. Okay, so we got a little scoop on this, right? We got to talk about this. It looks like lacquered finished, yes. but it's not. Finish on this wood is a similar product like the exterior paint on the Super Yachts. This finish can be polished and brought back to shine and it lasts forever. So if there's like a scratch, you can polish it off three times. So it looks gorgeous. It's really pretty. All right, let's open stuff up, yeah? yeah. Ooh, oh. uh, magazines, I magazines. I know you're not gonna let me open everything up, so I won't, but I just wanna look at the depth of the storage areas. That's great. Look at this, you have all that storage here. So that's just as you enter. And then the dining area is beautiful there's a few really cool things here that we can do there is a track right there and this track will allow this table to actually slide all the way here if you're only four people on board or something it was, mm -hmm. you know just the four of you you don't need this massive table you can slide it you can out of the slide salon. it out of the way and you can just have a smaller table you know it's just like four or five people which sitting around. makes total sense yeah and if you want to have a larger dinner here you can just pull it Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. And you have a much larger table. So easily dining for eight? eight? Yeah, for sure. The couch area is super comfortable. There's a lot of pillows on it, lots. So it kind of doesn't look as actually deep as it is, but it's really, really deep. This being a custom yacht, you can decide to do whatever you want in this area. This is really an, an open slate. You can do whatever you want. I love these uh, little side chairs. Here. Yeah, they're pretty beautiful. So that watertight door. Oh, that's what we were seeing from the other side. Correct. That is so, the heavy weather engine room that's, access. That's your engine room access right there. And that's your actual exterior watertight door. So you've got two watertight doors here. You can see how thick this all is it's amazing this doors are serious oh so then we have a pop-up tv here on the starboard yep, side correct large windows yeah we also have blackout blinds wow in every single window salon and staterooms you want to have a really nice movie night during the day, day? <laughs> you can totally do that you can just do a full blackout and it. you know and just hang out and watch a movie if it's rainy weather or something like that outside okay coming forward pretty good size wine cooler here oh yeah that's nice to uh -huh. have more bottle Some storage more. <laughs> so that's your proper bar set up here that's for white wine okay for red wine oh hello oh i, I found it. something for you rico what do we got here uh, we Access have redundancies. Tons of switches here and okay. breakers. Uh, we have DC on the on the right hand side here, and then AC loads on the center and left hand side. Outlets, heated floors. Oh, so the heads have heated floors. <laughs> Amazing. Well, this is still getting commissioned, so you know there's still some some stuff that they're working on and changing and stuff. So. This yacht is going to get... Nicely hidden away, but still accessible. Yeah, this yacht is going to get loaded up in a couple of weeks and make a journey to Australia. What do we have here on the starboard this side? This side, starboard side, we have all of this glassware. Oh, look how nicely that's done with the woodwork. So I guess it all comes with really nice glassware. All set up and ready for it. And you have all the space. And look at the beautiful indirect lighting Amazing. everywhere. It's yep. pretty cool. Look at that. Everything ready to go. Turnkey. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love these plates. Bearing. Oh, with a bearing logo. So you're fully set up here for, for your dining, your bar. Everything's here. And we have, on the outboard side, massive storage. All around. 
on both all, on, yeah, on both all sides. All the way right there. On both sides. Yes, you have another one right there. Let's go check out the state rooms. Okay, the salon is pretty pretty sweet. It's it's beautiful. Okay, do we go port or starboard? Pick one. Uh, starboard. Starboard. You picking starboard? Okay. I love the lit up staircase. The wood is gorgeous, you guys. It just feels like everything just feels so sturdy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the rails here. Really beautiful. So we have three staterooms on this yacht and they all have a king size bed. Wow. Am I right? Is this a king yes, size bed? Yes, it's a king size bed. Oh yes, I'm finally right about the bed size. Are you serious? So blackout blinds as well. Look how beautiful. It's such a nice mixture between modern and kind of a classic look, right? I, I love like the wood the gives wood, it warmth. Light color ceilings. Oh, hello, sorry. Just leaned on it and it just opened for me. <laughs> Come over. Sorry, it just opened. Oh, nice little hanging locker. Yeah. So you have a safe in here as well. You have what are these mechanisms for the, for the these drawers? Ones? Oh, I like them. You do? Yep. You like these? Very simple. I love these. Really simple nice. but efficient. Yep, everything is pretty quiet. The drawers underneath the Good side seat. And you also have his, hers, 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 hers it's, side. It's really yeah. a very, very comfortable stateroom. This could be a master on many other boats. Absolutely. So, complete walk around. And you have right there in the side table storage as well. Yep. How do you feel about the design? I really like it. I like the mixture between the wood, shiny finish on the on the mm -hmm. white surfaces. And the black wood trim looks really the cool. The black wood trim, they have the black door. And then the centerpiece where the TV is in black as well. I mean, honestly, like I could live with that. Yeah, I could totally choose this. It's beautiful. Really, really nicely done. Check out the head. Yes. Welcome to the head. Hello. Why didn't you go in the shower? Too bad. We don't have a smell TV. It smells amazing. Really nice. <laughs> okay, this is the, it's on our list. Towel drying rack. Towel drying rack. Um, definitely on the list. Love it. You have tons of storage here. I like how they left it exposed. That just shows you that this boat is really stable. That they felt totally comfortable leaving it completely open. And you also have some storage. Oh, oh brilliant. That's cool. Look at that. Yep. Pretty good resolution how they did this. So we have a bidet I... function right there, right? Oh, it's a bidet toilet. Mm -hmm. Bidet head. Bidet Sorry. head. Bidet head. I will volunteer to go in this shower. You'll see why. Oh. <laughs> what? What? No, you can't come in. That is beautiful. What are we? What are we thinking? Two people. Two people shower. For sure. Look! Look how low we are. We have our. Tender right there, bouncing around. Yeah, yeah. And first of all, so the tender is bouncing. We're not moving at all. So you guys, our, I guess. Salty windows from, right now. From waist down, yep. we are below waterline right now. Yep, exactly. And this looks like is the escape hatch. Yeah, on this side, right? Beautiful shower. Beautiful. Really, really nicely done. And then there's tons of counter space here. Oh, wow. Huge Massive. amount of storage. Yeah, I mean, this This being a, a guest stateroom, I mean, it could definitely be a, a master. In For terms sure. of the size, the storage, you can definitely live in this 100%. I like this. Check this out. How yeah, pretty. Looks, looks How they really just nice. did this black on this yeah, side. Yeah. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to the starboard side. Sorry, port side. Port side. Port side. All right, really nice staircase. This cabin is exactly the same. It's a mirror image. It has everything exactly the same. So not gonna open everything up for you guys. So you just seen it. Nothing is a trade-off. You have two equal cabins on, you know, guest cabins on each side. But yeah. one thing I would like to show. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Where did you look already? Did you peek in? No, I've heard that there is a large storage. See these little things here? Okay. Do you think I can do it by myself? Probably, try. Okay, sorry pillows. Sorry, beautiful decoration. Sorry, girls. Do it. Do it. Oh, that's heavy. Oh. It's on the shock. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So. That's why you bury the bodies. No, the, you know what you bury there? What do you bury here? Your suitcases after you unpack. You can't even have that many suitcases. This, this is absolutely amazing. So every single bed on this yacht has the storage underneath the bed. You know that what else you put here? 
all these extra pillows that are now on top of the bed that you can't sleep with. Yep. <laughs> Brilliant, right? Amazing. All right, well, same head, you guys. If you don't believe me, quick glance. Same exact head. Just so you know, I show it to you. By the way, how cute are these lights? I love them. So cute. All right, the master. I am master. dying to show you the master. I mean, I mean, how much bigger can the master be? This is already massive. Oh, it's bigger. Beautiful, solid oak door. Hello! Wow. And can you live here? Wow. Wow. Where do we start? I gotta whisper. Wow. <laughs> no, it's like, wow, ow, ow, <sighs> okay. ow. Let's start over here at the port side. All right, we have a settee. Pretty large settee, though. It's pretty much a couch at this point. You can take a nap there. Yeah, a couple of people can take a nap here. You can have an optional safe underneath mm -hmm. it. And all these exposed, absolutely beautiful shelves. The lit up shelves for art pieces or whatever you want to put there, it's great. The lighting is amazing, like all this indirect lighting everywhere. The glass installed here is one inch thick glass. Oh, it doesn't even look like that. Yes. It's crazy. And then we still have a pothole. So yeah, very secure, very safe. All these beams are steel beams. So even if you're in heavy, heavy, heavy seas, no problem there. No, no danger. I feel like since we're already here, we should just open, open this door. Open the door. Oh my goodness. Welcome to my closet. Huh. I think we have an infinity mirror set up here. Do we? Yep. Nah. How about this? Oh, wow. <laughs> this is incredible. The owner of this yacht requested to have this in here. So this is put on here upon request. Obviously you cannot have it in here, but I could see it's kind of convenient to be able to wash your own personal, just throw in something that you want to wash real quick. Kind of nice to have it in a master. And I snooped around already before, so yeah. I'm know that there's another washer and another dryer on this boat. Crew quarters? Yeah. Okay, I haven't been to crew quarters, you guys. I'm saving that one. I, I want to be able to okay, have what, a space so that I haven't been to. Well, what do we not have here? Lots of storage. Lots of storage. Beautiful wood again. How does this one work? Push. Ah! All of these. Yeah, plenty of storage space. I like these. This is so fun to open. I mean, you have your hat storage, another hanging area here and oh there's more there's more there's more I'm coming in okay check this out pretty cool wow this is huge can't even reach it there we yeah, go yeah wow this is a really really nice walk-in closet really nice let's go Come. keep exploring keep exploring nice little storage I compartment mean, here i mean yeah like it's almost Needless to say, there is so much storage, and I don't think you would be able to fill that up. I don't think I could. I love the location for the pop-up TV. Lazy Sunday movie in bed. Rainy day. Right. You welcome everyone who likes when I open things, and uh, sorry everyone who doesn't. You can fast forward. That's the beauty of YouTube. This is interesting. Yes. What? Score. Amazing. What amazing? What is it? It's a fridge okay. in the master. Is something does happen that, here? Does that flip up? Oh, yeah. So for all you women. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And the light. I mean, can we please? Huh? Jewelry, a little bit of makeup here. Fantastic. And you can also set this up that this space um, is set up that you can put your computer and stuff in here, which I think I would also do. It's, yep. it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of space for makeup and, and jewelry. You know, you can still put some some stuff away master bathroom yeah more drawers more Fine. storage starboard side heated floors Ooh. Just... really really nice um master head it's it, kind of the same size as the other ones right no it's larger it's bigger you think oh, yeah it's slightly yeah, maybe larger. right here in this area because you also have this here check this out yeah as well mm -hmm. and storage underneath too Oof. pretty sweet oh and more storage oh this is beautiful i thought it's kind of fake but like that it's that deep like a perception thing but it's extremely deep yeah 
So you can put all of your towels and beautiful in here. Yeah, gorgeous. There's more underneath. Oh shoot. That would wow. be my ha my hamper space, I think, or something. <laughs> that is a great hamper. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, maybe putting like a little vent there. Fine, I'll go in the shower. I will do it. And two person beautiful. shower. You do have a window. Pretty cool. Really nice head. What do we have left? I want to see the crew quarters. Did we miss that? Where is that? That is actually all the way forward on this oh, boat. Oh, I didn't see that. There was a staircase? Let's go check it out. Yeah, we're going through the galley, through the pilot house, okay. into the crew. Let's do that. How did we end up here? We so needed a coffee. <laughs> this boat is so large. By, by, we need by a coffee break. <laughs> yeah, but by union, we yeah. had to take a break. <laughs> a union coffee break. <laughs> We thought, why would we just waste a coffee break? We might as well just record it. Daring is a true expedition boat. Long range, capability to go through the rough weather, and comfort. All bearings are very heavy boats. They have a commercial DNA. Mm -hmm. Our hull is steel and we deliberately do it heavier than it's required for the strengths. So we correctly distribute the weight, the bearings, are comfortable without any stabilization engaged. When it's under two, two meters of waves, you don't see the big difference with stabilizer on, stabilizer off. Of course, the anchor stabilizers do its work like for any other boats, the boat catching its momentum and rolling, so stabilization at anchor is yeah. important. This particular boat have four fins. Long range comes not only with the fuel capacity, it's also comes with the, with the storage capacity because you have to be self-sufficient in remote location where there's no stores, no restaurants, no fuel stations. So you have to carry everything with you. We have a very robust water maker on, mm -hmm. on each boat, uh, so we're not dependent on the water source. On many boats we put black and gray water incinerators, so you, you're legal to dump everywhere, uh, anytime in the marina, so you, nice. you're, you have zero waste footprint. So you break down the black water? Yeah, black water and the grey water. If it's overwhelming capacity, mm -hmm. we shut the, the grey water because in most places it's legal to dump the grey water. Yeah. So, but normally when you're staying in the marina, we're running grey and black through the incinerator so you, you don't have any issues. Amazing. For the boats under 24 meters, now we offer a standard uh, inverter type of electrical system. So you have enormous bank of lithium-ion batteries, mm -hmm. which is enough for 24 72 hours so being at anchor with no generator okay just put the camera can here. we repeat this one just more put time? the camera right here and go stand there please i need people to see your face <laughs> yes right. let's please say that again <laughs> so all the new boats they are gonna have inverter type of electrical system so that we have 50 to 150 kilowatt hours bank of lithium ion batteries and everything run off inverters, including your air conditioning system and uh, washers, dryers. This is amazing. Uh, wow. This is wow. amazing. It's allow us not to use generator when we are at anchor. Okay. The generators or generator, depends on how mm -hmm. we set up mm -hmm. the logic, can come up for one hour, recharge the battery, shut down, and you're good for another 24, 48, 72 hours, whatever your consumption is. So your generators never work permanently. Of course, the solar panels kicking in yep. during the day, like trickle this, charging. two to three kilowatt put in. That's a convenience. And also you set up the logic that generator will never kick in at night. So you say silent time from 10 p.m. until 9 a.m. Amazing. And it generated, the computer will charge it right before night if it needs to be charged. So mm -hmm. it's like music, it will music to your ears. Speaking also, of music, is the generator running right now? Uh, generator running right now, it's undetectable I anywhere can't in tell. the boat. No, no. There's can't no tell. vibration, can, there's I no sound, there's no I, nothing. I can tell you more. I can start the main engines right now. All right, do it. Let's do it. Here's the gauges. You can see it's zero RPM right now. And we're starting. So we start one. You see, two engines are now started. So the only indication you have that the engines are running is your. What, the engines are on right now? They're it's on. on. And let me put the cruise RPM on the engine. So are we cruising eight knots at. 1000 RPM on this boat. Zero vibration. Yeah, because all the interiors are floating. Okay. I mean, not only floor, 
walls, ceilings, yeah. everything attached through the rubber suspension. I call it rubber, but yeah, it's you can, you can cylinder, it's, yeah. it's yeah. special suspensions. Yeah. All the pumps, everything is running through the suspension, so you don't have a, you don't hear Nothing. any equipment anywhere in the living quarters. It's very it quiet. Is. Fuel capacity: twenty-seven thousand liters, which is oh, it's well, about seven thousand gallons. Oh wow! This boat can cross the Atlantic or the Pacific. Twice, Atlantic go back and forth. It it's got the range of uh, six thousand miles at eight knots. So when you purchase a bearing. It comes with full fuel tanks? No. <laughs> but it comes with a full there was, cameras. <laughs> there was not even hesitation. No. No. <laughs> we have uh, detectors, uh, smoke detectors, temperature detectors, CO detectors in certain areas. Here is no source of CO, but everywhere else it's, it's, it's here. Okay. And it's alarms. You, you can detect any signs of something going wrong yeah. right from pilot house because it's wired to every every room and it's redundant. So yeah, yeah, redundancy is this a key. This is, is a key, yeah, it's, for sure. Especially key. if you're far, far away in the middle yeah. of nowhere with no help coming, you gotta be able, you gotta yeah. have redundancy. In our case, it's include not only uh, vital equipment, it's a secondary equipment as well. We have redundant water heater, redundant water pumps, redundant air conditionings in, in uh, some rooms like master suite. Yeah. You, you will not enjoy the trip if your unit fail in your master, True. so your trip is ruined. What is your background? How did you end up feeling like you needed to build something like this? Where do you come from? <laughs> <laughs> there are two, two parts of it. I was born and grew up in the far east of Russia, the city Magadan. It's located between two harbors. Fishermen uh, a ruling there. Mm -hmm. So, and at one point between 2000 and 2005, I have a fishing company there. If you watch Deadliest Catch, yep. that's what about what we did. We fish for oh, king wow. crab, halibut, whelk, and the season happened to be in the September, October, November. It's a stormy month. It's a very cold. Water temperatures is near 35 degrees. And so you've seen some crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, the sea is really rough and I learn myself, not, not the second-hand experience, what the sea can do to the boat, even to the steel boat. What can so, it do to the steel? Oh, it can twist the metal like nothing. Twist and the metal? Twist the, the waves? Metal. Waves, yeah. It's crashing with a, with a power of 100 tons on your boats and uh, so everything which can be bent and twisted will be bent and twisted. So after being in something like that, it's, just, it's kind of hard to imagine being yes. on the boat and not feel like you the safest you can be. Yes, because for myself I wanted only steel boat because fiberglass, especially, I mean everything is good for its application. For, for its you know, application. Like, mm -hmm. uh, That's what I always say. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah, uh, why you, you, your weight is your ally. Why are you trying to make a heavy boat of the light materials which allow you to make a runabout and go 50 knots? Yeah. So this boat is designed to go displacement speed. You need weight for comfort. The reason why we twice heavier than most of uh, expedition looking boats. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it's your comfort, it's your acceleration when you're moving. We designed the boat around center of gravity. This boat is stable by design, by distribution of weight, by form of hull. This boat being heavier, it, it means it's reduced acceleration because it's what actually make you uncomfortable. It's not the amplitude, how high, how low you go, mm -hmm. angle you turn. No, yep. it's how fast you're doing this. If you com compare the piece of styrofoam dancing on the waves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the log. So that's, that's the motion. Log is moving. Everything is moving on the water. Big tankers can, are moving. Can we borrow this? This yes, is a great analogy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's amazing. We're going from cruising speed down to idle speed. The, nothing changed. Nothing changed. So when we we shut down both engines, no difference. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. There was zero, zero vibration. Nothing. Nothing. No vibration. Vibration we address separately. So I will explain when, when we will be in the engine room. I will tell you all about vibration killing. It's 40 dB here. Uh, Sound-wise, this boat is surpassing requirements for super yachts of 50 meter. We are, we are in the vicinity of comfort class. There are comfort class uh, for the super yachts. It comes with the letter C. Of course you are! <laughs> so, and this boat, this boat will comply with, with this highest standard for the super yacht. Despite its 
I mean, it's, it's 77 feet, so we're not that far away from the engine room either. I've run a lot of boats. Yes. And have I've you ever? Nothing. Never experienced nothing. Guys, I ever. think, I think you, have to, you have to run this boat. Wait. Did we just hear Alexi say he wants Rico to sea trial this beautiful beast and we should film it? Hold on. Feel how handle, feel how the thrusters working. You have to run this boat, we have to film it. Yep, too bad we don't have time because we still want to show you guys the crew quarters and the engine room. What's that? Am I kidding? Of course I'm kidding. We would never pass up such an opportunity. But if some of you are too busy, feel free to fast forward. But you will be missing out on an experienced captain in complete awe of the vessel. So what do we have right now? Eight and a half knots. What are we burning? That's a question. Uh, we're burning 13.8 and 13.9. Liters. Liters. So combined is 28 liters per hour, which is? Seven-ish, right? This boat is 350 horsepower each mm -hmm. engine. People say, can you put uh, at least 500? I say, why? Why do you need it? Look, we go on cruising speed. We're cruising 8.4 knots. Our engines are loaded at 35%, which is not good for engines. We reach the cruising speed at 1,020 RPM. The mm -hmm. turbo didn't kick in yet. Yep. This is an efficient mode. What we are actually recommend to do on our boats, all our boats, one engine off. And, and you just go on one. And you go on one. Yeah. So it's exactly what we're doing right now. We are 1,230. We're loaded at 50 percent and our speed is climbing up so it's better to run we one recommend engine to run one engine at a time and, yeah. al and alter so the it doesn't affect the gearbox on the idling engine right your maintenance your hours yeah oh, it's gonna be half half yeah and half so we're running the same eight knots at least now we loaded the engine at 51 percent yeah at cruising speed and let's see what we can reach with one engine. This is continuous duty engine. You can mm -hmm. start it in the spring and yeah. turn it off in the fall mm -hmm. and go wide open all the time. Okay. Go 9.4 9 on one engine. We loaded it at 100% and we, we're doing 9.4 knots. And we're burning 67 liters. So we double our consumption. We bought, what, one knot? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not, worth, not worth, it. worth it. If we will put the second engine, Oh, now we start planing. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> now that both engines are climbing up to 100%. So you let so like, like 11 nuts? We're burning now 130 liters. liters. Throttling back. You don't feel any vibration or anything. No. Uh, let's see what we're going to do at 1200. Like 1200, right? Yeah. Yeah, the turbo is already on at this speed. I'll synchronize the engines. So yeah, we're going to do around 9 knots, probably. And you're not burning much either. 20, 20 yeah. liters an hour each engine. Yeah, 21. 40, 40, 42 combined. Yeah. So we're about 10 gallons now. For and this, doing, this heavy and big, big of a boat is just crazy. That's a comfortable speed. It feels like we're not even moving, but we're <laughs> really mm -hmm. moving. <laughs> Can I turn the boat around one time? Sure. I just want to see how it, how it, how it handles. Yes, yes, oh, please. I'm just going to go stand by. Yeah, there we go. I just want to see how fast the boat turns. I'm going to help a little bit with the starboard engine in reverse and yeah, yeah. the rudder over. You can feel the weight. It turns really well, yeah. actually. Look how easy we turn. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, we turn on the dive base. Incredible. Also, you can check the, how it's turning on thrusters only. We go to neutral, thrust on. Yeah. Yep. I'm just going to wait until we stop moving. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even feel the engagement? No. Normally it's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no, you can put look, like nothing. See, we're now running 1000 RPM reverse. That's incredible. If you don't have the instruments, you don't even know what's happening. So let's... Amazing. You can put them opposite. 
You don't even need much. Wow. You don't need any talent docking this boat. No. <laughs> <laughs> no knowledge at all. No, nothing. Right. No experience. No, you need experience to, see, to know what the boat is going to do. Because the weight. You cannot stop it immediately. One of the reasons why experienced captains know already what's happening before it's happening. That's true. Yeah, I love it. And Anything the press. Is so quiet. Impressed. And calm. <laughs> so when do we do a delivery with the boat? I'm coming. I'm <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to do the 145 probably? Look, this year think. we have three more. What delivers. do you have this year? Uh, we got 70, which mm -hmm. is similar, but it's updated yeah. and upgraded 70. We have 76. Okay. And we have 92. Oh, 92. That's probably going to yes. be really cool. Oh my God, I love this. We need to have this. And they have the same they put on the tankers. Um, uh, the steering wheel, this mechanism actually, they have one hat. Doesn't matter if it's yeah. 400 foot bulker or it's... Just that. That's yeah, it. it's all commercial. So it makes you really feel like you're driving a super yacht. The That's... reliability of this engine close to commercial jet turbines. So they have pretty much the same rate. And then you can rebuild them anyways. Exactly. 30,000 commercial engine hours. 30,000 in the mode we're using because you never go wide open. And it's designed to go wide open mm -hmm. full yeah. time. Mm -hmm. No 5,000 a year. Yeah. No limits. You can go 8,000 a year. You can rebuild up to 30,000 hours. You can rebuild, but it's going to be your grandson's. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> It's mind-blowing. Before this engine no. die, we're going to be on portable nuclear. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. Or hydrogen That's or so whatever. True. Something, yeah, something. it's, it's going to be something so true. else. That's weight. Weight That's and insane. a little percussion we... Yeah, and a little bearing. Build a little bearing touch. A little touch. bearing touch, yes. <laughs> That's what I tell Victoria all the time. You need a little bit of weight. Definitely. A little bit of weight. We have to be displaced, man. There's no weight at all. It's not good. No. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. You guys are full displacement, huh? Okay. We are. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call you from now on. I'm out of the age of uh, planing. No, no not no. planing anymore. No, I think we are not fast, but we... Yeah, yeah. Forever. Yeah, last forever. forever. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've had our coffee break and we got to get back yeah, on track. Yeah, let's go back to work. Back on track. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we want to show you guys oh, the rest of this boat. Look, there's a cool rail here to hold on to. And the another grab wheels and another grab rail right here. Wow, what? I told you, this is a really comfortable crew quarters. This is a 77 foot yacht. Exactly. It has a, a galley. What? That's I don't know where to has start. It actually has a crew mass. Microwave okay. and... We've been on the 90 footers that didn't have a crew mass. Not like this. This is really nice. You have a proper washer and dryer. Big one in my book. Fridge and, right here. An apple. An apple. <laughs> you have all these spaces here. It's great storage still. Yeah, an actual galley to, to make a little quick breakfast or you know yeah. a midnight snack. You don't even need to come up. All of this for extra provisioning or crew stuff. Whatever you you know, whatever you need to have. Oh, wow. Can you yeah. can you go in there? It goes all the way in. I mean, they've actually really used up every every uh, inch of this space. Oh, oh wow! Whoa. I'm so glad I opened this. Can you see that? Wow! It's that huge. Is deep storage. Pretty impressive. I'm just gonna open this for fun. And you have so, two crew cabins. Let's check them out. Okay, so you have bunk beds here, some storage oh, right here. Oh, really, yeah. really deep. It goes all the way in. Yeah. There's some, some crew stuff on board. The bunks look very comfortable. Yeah, you have storage up here, storage down here. So you don't have like a hanging locker per se here, but you have, you know, for your crew t-shirts and shorts, which yeah. is pretty much all you're wearing, you have all of that here. And then... Another double. Another bunk. one. It could be hanging locker yeah. or shelf, so you can do you can do either. You, or. Yeah, you can decide what you want to do with it. Yeah. Really comfortable, nice size beds. You even have a window. This is a nice crew quarters. Nice I mean, I don't quarters. even know when you would have a four people crew on this boat. And then you have a shared head with an actual walk-in shower, not even a wet head. Yeah. Yeah, a real shower. There's a storage above the head right there. Oh, this is great. You have storage here too. 
Yeah. Pretty Are you cool. ready to be amazed? Am I ready to be amazed? Amazed. I've been amazed for the last two hours. Yeah. What else are you gonna show me? Open this. Me? Yeah, you just gotta go there. Well, it's it has not. It has shocks. It's not an access? Well, it is a bilge access. What? What do you think? <laughs> is there a hole in the boat there? What? Can we just talk about the depth? Can of you this? just go in there? You this want to is, go in there? I, you absolutely have to. Okay. That is a requirement. This is crazy. So you can step on that on that thing? Yeah? Oh, yeah. okay, cool. Oh, well, it's really easy. I just, whoa. What? Uh, <laughs> I mean, okay, can we talk about... Here, take the camera the with you. This? Wow, and then all the storage. All storage. Oh, that's all shelves. Well, the how deep does it go? Storage. This is pretty cool here, guys. Here's the tunnel of the hydraulic bow thruster. Really cool to see, actually. And the outer hole, the outer hole of the boat. So now let's turn around. Is that a freezer? Tons of built-in storage. And then we have two. Two? Two top-loading freezers. Wow. Oh, it's one on each more, side? More storage to the outside. More freezer space. OMG. And then, I don't know where this is going. I'm just going to snoop in there. Water heaters and bilge area. Looks like there's still some work in progress, so I'm not going to go deeper in there. But isn't that absolutely amazing? I mean, all your dry goods could be stored here for longer cruising. Phenomenal. I'm blown away. Yeah. I mean, we've been on some cats that had some deeper... But this Build is, storage, but this is this incredible. is crazy. Crazy. Have you ever seen this before in a monohull? Incredible. No, never. On the seventy-seven foot monohull. I think Alexei said he was going to meet us in the engine room. Should we go do Let's that? Let's go see if he's out, uh, right. out on the back deck already. Let's do this. There he is. We found you! I opening this heavy door. Wow, that door looks oh, wow. ridiculously heavy. <laughs> yeah, this is a true watertight door. Entry to the lazarette. Okay, um, we'll follow you. And then we'll get to the engine room. Let's do it. See all the sound shielding? Look at yeah. this. Alright, so we're in the lazarette. Wow, look at all of this. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty large, actually. Yeah, it's There's a, a lot of It's a, I wouldn't say it's overly large lazarette, but it's enough space for toys, for air compressor. Also, we got a, a bit of machinery here. Um, so we have an emergency steering wheel here. Oh, wow. Which is in a close proximity to all the steering arrangements. So, wars come to wars and we lost the power. So this is your manual steering mm -hmm. and we have communication here or you can have a handheld. You will be directed to, to steer here by the, the, the captain. Yep. Manifold for emergency bilge pump system. So it's also used as a, as a fire suppression system. Oh, perfect. So it comes from commercial boat again. It's not required by class for these kind of boats. We have it same as It's required as any, by you. It's required by bearing uh, safety standards. <laughs> yeah. What, what is behind you? Uh, it's a day tank. You see the visual gauge. Our day tank is nearly full. And we made uh, uh, close to a hundred mile trip on this much of the fuel. And we have two uh, tanks. One is uh, oh, behind. hiding behind this bulkhead. Uh, but it's how little we consume. So the day tank, visual gauges, and six main tanks. You see all the plumbing, fuel plumbing, everything is rigid, everything is stainless steel. And uh, you, can, you can see the color of that stainless steel. Yes. It's uh, comparing to some other. Yes. That you can immediately Again, see it's different stainless steel. It's, it's yeah. a commercial grade yep. uh, engine room. It's robust and uh, redundant. And, This is tall. Oh, and it's air conditioned. So it's a bit noisy here. It's tall. Yeah, the engine room is pretty tall. Uh, oh, wow. 77 feet, you guys. 
Oh, so this is the, the stair, yeah. the letter going This is the actually the main engine to the engine room because you don't need to run through the lazarette. Yeah. Uh, you can enter the engine room through a door on the sidewalk or if it's bad outside, you can enter it from the salon. Yeah, we yeah. showed it from the salon. So yeah, the guys know where that yes. is. So we have so, uh, generators running. What, what we, else? We, we have got a generator on? running. Yep. We got air conditioning running. So, uh, so you guys can tell when we were inside, you couldn't hear anything. Yes. <laughs> actually, there is actually noise, but you couldn't hear anything up there. Yeah. So we got big Vectron inverter chargers. They do in both. They charging and inverting. All right there. Yeah. This this the, uh, this compartment is a bit incomplete, so we started enclosure mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. but uh, the battery bank is right here. The air conditioning, the second generator wow. is there. Here is our hydraulic system. So we run our thrusters and uh, we run our windlasses and stabilization system of the side power package. So down below is our seawater management system. And again, it's quite unusual for 77 foot. It more looks like a Supriat stuff, but that's what this boat is by DNA. It's massive. 350 horsepower each. Uh -huh. uh, it's a continuous duty coming to a 7-Eleven. It's a very cool engine, not cool cool. I mean, it's cool engine, <laughs> but it's it's running. It's a cool it, running engine. Yeah, cool yeah. running engine. You can put your hand on on this and not not burn yourself. Yeah. So it's running at 73 Celsius. I uh, it's, uh, I don't remember oh, wow. how much it's in Fahrenheit. Yeah, that is low actually. We're running dry exhaust up, then mixing it with water and separate. Pretty quiet system. What do you think of the access, Rico? I think it's fantastic. All this, um, all the floor, floor panels come floor out, of panels course. Can oh, pick up and remove. Yeah. They got uh, rubber gaskets, but everything is accessible. We run all equipment one layer. We we have nothing behind something. So in order to maintain something, you don't need to disassemble anything. Mm -hmm. And then you're running straight shaft. It's a zero degree shaft. And the shafting system where our noise and vibration suppression system comes. We're using C-torque shaft system. It's a system, it's assembly. Okay. So it's got the shaft which rotating in the oil bath. We have a, a shaft assembly with two ball bearings on each end. Actually, the shaft itself is very short on this boat. It's about six feet long. Oh wow, that's only. Good. that is short. The shaft assembly include the thrust bearing. So the thrust is comes to the hole, mm -hmm. but not to the gearbox. So you so, don't get the vibration. And then it's a soft connection, it's a cardan connection to the engine. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't need a precise alignment because we actually have a miss, have to have a misalignment of about half an inch or less. It's kind of like on a semi truck. Yes. Where you have a, um, in German, it's Cardan Welle. I don't know what it is in English, but it's, um, it's Cardan. It's, it's Cardan. Cardan. It's the Cardan same. Yeah. Okay. Same. Yeah, yeah. So the engine is mounted flexibly on special mounts. It's not your traditional mounts because yeah. we have no thrust applied to the engine. Yeah. So the engine is flexing and floating on these expensive and very good quality pads, yeah. which allow it to move in all directions. So we are not transferring the vibration comes from cavitation on the probe coming to the gearbox and the engine and through the rigid uh, pads mm -hmm. uh, coming to the hole. No, it's Nothing. not our case. Yeah. So if we will run this boat at wide open, when usually vibration comes from cavitation, it's not. Yeah. It's not there. We got a concrete blanket above the props. There are some cavitation, of course, on mm -hmm. the props mm -hmm. and wide open at eight knots. We have virtually no cavitation, but if you go on 11 and a half, mm -hmm. you will have some, but we suppress it right here with a heavy ballast, which which covers the, the prop area and also skeks because our engines, you see how low they sit in. Yep, yep. So uh, the water level is about right here. So this is the water level. Our uh, engines is about uh, one and a half foot under below. the water. So in combination with all the fuel and all the heavy stuff is underwater, this boat is perfectly balanced weight-wise. Yeah, and all fuel tanks are below anyways, they're all in the bilge, yeah, right? Yeah, all the fuel tanks is, is uh, below the water lines. And this is on fashion engine. Mm -hmm. We're not doing any more like this. This boat would have double size of battery banks, mm -hmm. half 
full-size generators. Yeah, yeah. And oh, that's this automatic everything. system. Yeah. And also we put now, uh, this boat doesn't have it, but we put these shaft generators on each engine. So it's generate DC and charging the battery the bank. On the way, you don't need to run the generator. Because the generators are your, yes, your transmissions. It's, it's, it's now yeah. uh, getting getting standard on our, yep. all our boats. Yep. So you can generate the, the, the power by, by your main engine. It's most efficient way. Your generator hours, unlike on many boats, which is double, triple the hours of the main engine. Yep. We will have it uh, three times less hours on generators than on main engines. And the fuel case. consumption too, like, I mean, even like, you know, a good sized generator still is going to eat at least a gallon, a gallon and a half, some bigger generators, hour, two yeah. gallons an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. So, fuel mm. savings again. Uh, ventilation. Yes. Um, so, you see this massive uh, grill here? It's a ventilation, it's run automatically, depend on the temperature. So that's the exhaust or that's no, the intake? No, it's an intake and exhaust it's is right, over there. right yeah, there. Yeah. So we're running the air through the engine room. Actually, the grills are on the upper decks. Oh, so okay. we move the exhaust and intake up. So you don't get the salty air You from, don't have the salty air because it's so high up and even in the heavy seas, you, you're well protected. Of course, we have uh, the spray catchers in yeah, the, yeah. In the fire suppression again we pay a lot of attention to to the fire safety yeah because it's a major major factor of uh, uh, of any problems on on the boats That's with a fire, big fire boy there. yeah uh, we have a separate system in the lazarette yeah. and here you see all sensors here temperature sensor yeah. Yeah. and also we control the temperatures we control more temperature points than normal we control temperature in the mixer because it's a first indicator of something happened to your impeller or clogging so we control the temperature in the mixer so your engine will show you perfect temperature it's still you know yeah, fighting yeah. a but problem the, but, the but, the, but the exhaust will show you the first signs of clogging or uh, your impeller is wearing out so that's that's a good thing we control the temperature of the shafts temperature of the gearbox it's only vital equipment uh, we're trying to, to sense the problem before it's appeared. So that's why we, we monitor a lot and we monitor it through a Poseidon system, which is a commercial system. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to use uh, a lot of commercial equipment in our boats because it's proven, it's, it's again certified for commercial use, although this boat is, this boat is commercial again. It's a pretty good size <laughs> in the room for, for the size of the yacht. Yeah, I mean, it's it's convenient. It's not large by yeah. any means. Everything is very packed. You see how piping is done. It's not much room for yeah. uh, mistake here. But the fact that you can still stand up straight, oh. you have room to move around, like there's, everything is right here. It's like nicely accessible, organized, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. What no, do you it's think, fantastic. Babe? I love it. A few touch-ups before delivery, and this, this engine room will be it's ready spotted. to go. All right, you guys, this completes our tour of this incredible real world cruiser Explorer yacht, 77 feet. I am pretty sure you're just as amazed as we are. Sorry you couldn't be here with us, but I am so glad we got to take you with us on this journey. Thank you so much for taking us on this amazing experience and just, it was a blast. Like it was so amazing. Rico, <laughs> it was it was super cool. We just we geeked out. We had fun. It was absolutely awesome. Огромное спасибо. Да не за что. Вы знаете, так было приятно, что вы на борту. Это очень просто. Чудесный день. It's really rare that I get to speak my native tongue with an amazing builder. So I take this opportunity. This this makes me really proud. Like our heritage and incredible yacht builders. Put in the comments down below all of your questions and if you are interested in purchasing a bearing yacht, I will put all the contact information down in the description underneath the video. Have a good one, see you in the next one. See you guys. Ciao. Is it clean? Yeah. 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 Well, that's gonna be beautiful for outtakes again. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm gonna grab my coffee quick. Oh, you didn't have any? No. Why not? I was too excited. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Talking about some serious boat stuff and there's this guy. Yeah, this guy. He's a boat guy. He grew up on the boat. We have a pretty nice wine cooler. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, this not pull. Nothing is a trade-off. You have super nice... Trade-off. Not a trade-off. Check. Sconces. Thank you. Did you say sconces? Yeah. Fancy word out of you. Oh, I, put the, I turned Scon the heated floors off. Sconces. Oh, hello. Hi. You, Hi. You're trusting me? Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm boy. Here. Oh, boy. Me and the king are going to oh. hang out. Right? His name is actually King. I have a, like an OCD thing, like when it's 59 or 57, 53, like all the uneven numbers. It bothers I, you? It bothers me. <laughs> so if I ever have to have a course which is 53, I might fall off a little bit to go 54 or 52. <laughs> <laughs> You're quirky. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just a weird thing. <laughs> what have yeah, you on, not What have you not thought about? Oh, uh, I have a long list. <laughs> All right, Captain. Take we can a, take we can home. maybe check the the noise level in the on the way. What noise yeah, you, level? I don't you, know. You guys, you guys can check. I'll stay here. What What, what <laughs> noise level? There is no noise level. Three. It's like made for photo shoot. Ta -da. <laughs> Ooh, oh. B. Okay. B. B. That's shots. lighting shots. Okay. And so this is Rico Rock stall with not a stand. I'm just kidding. It's for sure.